Hello out there, and I've got the Copper Natrix in front of you again today because uh, I'm doing a bit of a mod experiment with it. Um, one of the things that I do oftentimes when I'm modding stuff, one of the finishes I end up going with is a, a speckled pattern. It's one that I, I came up with myself and I really haven't seen anyone else doing anything like this, which makes it fun for me at least to have something to call my own, but it's also just, I think, a really good looking kind of finish that I'm able to achieve just using a simple Dremel bit. And usually I do it in an acid etch and I've done it over like titanium uh, heat anno, but I had this copper patina and I was thinking, well, geez, it's basically the same thing. Like it would probably work on this too. And as you can see, it, it did work. And what I'm gonna do is basically just, uh, just film this and tell you and show you you know when this happened and then we're going to check back and see how this patina is back into you know uh covering up this finish and then the next time when it patina is over this we'll just do it again live on the video and you can see exactly how it works so let's get this as close as we can and in focus and you can see just this uh this speckled pattern it shows up differently just the way the light hits it so it does have that pretty cool look to it where at one angle it'll look just like regular copper but then when you get it uh, tilted at a certain angle you'll see more of the um, the speckles showing up just so you know depending on how the light is hitting it so I've always liked that aspect about it because this uh, this kind of knife looks especially like cool when you do something and, and have it out in like natural light uh, but uh, my experience with the patina on the copper has been quick, like it is patinaed quickly. So um, I have this just to show you the date. Uh, I did this very early in the morning on Monday, March 11th. And so I'll be following up as I go. And just to show you, even though we are going to do it live the next time around, this is the bit that I'm using for the Dremel. So all I'm doing is using, and I guess this is like a, a drill bit, I've never really used it for that. I just turn it on on like a low setting and just the ridges here skip as the the Dremel naturally wants to move from left to right. And so it skips and creates that finish. It's not textured at all. It's just the look of it. And the same thing with the acid etch. So there's no like feel to it. It's just a, a look. And so I think this will patina back over. So that's what uh, the experiment is going to be, how quick it will happen, and what it will look like if it will be an even patina and will match the rest of the knife or what. So I'm going to be carrying this for the next couple days. And yeah, and then like I said, once we uh, once it happens again, then I'll, uh, I'll do the speckle pattern again and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I'll check back with you in uh, the next day or two. So here we are, and it's actually six days later. It is uh, the afternoon of Sunday the 17th. And you might be able to see that we still have this speckle pattern all over the blade. Now, it is definitely starting to fill in with some patina. And it's definitely not as vibrant as it was. I'm trying to catch it in the light. But it's still there. And I don't have any idea how long it'll take for this to go away. Um... I assume that it would only be a couple days because one thing that I did when I uh, I first got the patina on this knife was I actually threw the whole thing into uh, my stone washing uh, little bucket and stone washed the whole thing and got a uh, you know a new finish on it and that stone wash went away in just a couple days and so I sort of assumed that this would go away in just a couple days and we'd be you know back to the the whole patina scale, but that has not been the case. And I've been carrying this knife and, you know, I've been making sure that I like have it in hand. And, and one of the things about patina, if we can just take a, a minute about that, one of the things that I've learned and th maybe there's the possibility that, uh, the knives that are going out are different in some capacity as far as like the finish goes. But I mean, I've seen mine patina a whole lot faster than just about anybody else's. And my understanding and my guess is that, you know, if you have like oily hands, that oil will just sit on the, the copper and just continue to, to form that patina. 
Whereas, you know, if you don't have it, you can handle the knife as much as, as you want, and it'll just be a very slow process. Me, I only really have to handle the knife a little bit because, like I said, those oils will sit on there and just continue to uh, to darken the copper. And that's at least my understanding of it. And so I assumed that it would just be a pretty quick process, you know, once I started carrying this knife again, and it hasn't been. What you can see, and it's actually really good that I, I didn't take the clip off, but I did, uh, I did try to get underneath where the clip is, and you can see where it's just a lot more vibrant, you know, in those areas where, you know, my fingers aren't contacting it. So that looks a lot like it did when I first did it, and then you can see how much duller it becomes as you move on to, like, the rest of the scale. So pretty cool there that you can see that actually, like, transitioning, but... We are in a situation where we're six days in and I'm still not able to uh, to do the speckle pattern again because the first one's still there. So it's possible that we are not going to be able to do it again at all and that this will be a semi-permanent finish, which would be interesting in its own right. And it's also possible that, you know, the, the time between when I start this project and finish it will be a whole lot longer. And so, yeah, I'll follow up with you as this goes away if it does. And if, you know, in another week from now, this pattern is still here and, and pretty vibrant, then um, we're just going to call it a day and, you know, say that the job is done in a, a different kind of capacity. All right. So uh, I'll follow up with you guys shortly. Thanks. All right, guys, and here we are wrapping up this experiment, and it didn't go the way that I had planned, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but first, let me tell you the date. It is Thursday the 21st, so we are 10 plus days in at this point, and uh, yeah, all of this speckled pattern is still here, and this knife has been used and carried and, uh, and gotten a lot of uh, additional wear on it, you know, in the past week or so, uh, a lot of oils and all that stuff, and this speckled pattern has held up pretty well. It's certainly not nearly as vibrant as it was, and let me see if I can um, show you. Yeah, that area underneath the clip where uh, I don't really contact it is still definitely brighter than anywhere else, but... Uh, the speckles on the rest of the copper, they are, they're not going away. They're not patinaing uh, at the speed that I expected them to. So, you know, the idea here was to see them patina and then to do the speckled patterns again and to see how that came out. And we actually are going to do that. I'm still going to just put another, like, a layer of the speckles over it right now just so that you can see that process. Um, also, though... I did just get some additional wear on the knife and you might not be able to pick up like the the detail of it here but um but I did get a couple like little scratches on the knife and you can see how maybe uh those are a little bit brighter so these marks this finish is starting to to get that patina too but it just is not at the pace that uh, the whole scale did initially when I picked it up. So really interesting. Uh, I'm curious to get more copper in my collection at this point because, because uh, yeah, this has just been just uh, the whole the whole experience has been a positive one. But it's just been really interesting to see how this stuff reacts to to different like situations and variables. Um, also, for anyone who's just interested in the knife, guys, I have loved loved carrying this knife again this past week or so. You know, I've been. Uh, Getting it back into rotation, uh, got getting a lot of use on it. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's sort of right back there at the uh, at the top of my current favorites, which is sort of a big thing, especially seeing that I have so many knives coming in and out that that this knife just squeezed right back in, and I'm like, ah, gosh, I just want to keep carrying this knife. So that is definitely a good problem to have. But now let's just uh, let's just get the Dremel going and and hit it and see what happens. So, like I said earlier, we've got this uh, weird little like drill bit, and we're just going to turn it on and skip around and, and see what we can actually do on camera. Let's see how this works.
And let's take a look at it now, and you can see distinctly that there is just a difference in the quality of the shine between this show side scale here and uh, the shine that's left on the speckled pattern on the other side, really meaning that, you know, that patina is taking place over here, but it's just going very, very slow compared to what I experienced earlier. So, yeah, that brightness will hold up for a little bit of time, and I don't know how long the, the whole thing will last. I'm going to end up just doing the other side as well, just to give it some, like, symmetry and let it be even. But I think just over time, as it patinas more, it will just get a more and more layered kind of look to it, which should be, I think, super cool. So I'm just going to keep doing it. And guys, as you saw, I mean, this is not a difficult process. It's not something that, that takes a lot. If you have a Dremel tool and uh, a really simple, cheap attachment, you can just do that process and, and skip the, the bit over any kind of like acid edge finish. I've done it over Anno, like I said, something like this and get what I think is a pretty cool result. And you can experiment with it, you know, just like uh, do different designs or do different patterns or different angles. You know, there's just a lot to do with this. And I'm surprised that I really haven't seen very many people doing stuff like it. But otherwise, guys, a uh, an interesting experiment, like I said, didn't go the way I expected, but certainly still some, uh, some valid and uh, compelling conclusions to draw from it. So uh, any questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, let me know down below. I really do appreciate it, but uh, I'll be talking with you soon. Thanks for watching and take care.